32 nations, four teams per group, but only one winner. It's back, the World Cup. It's full with some iconic moments, of course. And yeah, I can't wait. And of course, the first game is on Sunday and Qatar versus Ecuador. So it's probably one of the worst opening days, um, like games. However, England is on the next day on Monday. So it, come on, it, it has to be coming home at some point. Okay, Group A, fourth place, I put Qatar. Normally, the host nations always do better. However, like... Qatar, I just know. I, like, I have never heard of any of the players, and they're just not, they've never been like a football inside. Um, there's, so, there's some teams who host it, but at least they have some talent, but Qatar, I don't think, has any. But yeah, Qatar, like, it, I hope them do the best, however, that they probably won't be able to make out the group. So, yeah, Qatar fourth. But I put Ecuador. Yep, Ecuador. Overall, they are a solid team. However, they lack. They lack some positions. They won't be able to beat the likes of uh, Netherlands and Senegal. So, they, however, they did do well in like the qualifiers. But when it goes to the major competition, I think they will struggle. Second place now, I put Senegal. Yep, Senegal. Of course, no Sadio Mane for them. But they still have Saar. They still have Koulibaly. They still have Mendy. They still have some... A lot of decent players, a lot of decent players, and sh they should be able to still come second. Fourth place now, I put Netherlands, of course. Like, without a doubt, like, they have some solid players. They have the best centre-half in the world, arguably. Not great this season uh, in Virgil van Dijk, but, like, forms when it matters. Um, so, yeah, he's a great defender. And then they also got Dumfries, Depay, uh yeah, a lot of range of players. Also, Dion, uh, De Ligt. Like, they have a lot of range of players, and they should easily get out this group. Surely, it will be Netherlands winning Group A. Group B now, and it's my group. My team, England. Fourth place, I'm going to put the USA. Yep, the USA. Speed ain't going to be happy with that one, but hopefully, I'll put Blake. Uh, Portugal or else you'll bark at me <laughs> I do like the United States of course they have some solid players like Pulisic uh, McKenney and Des some solid players overall but I just don't think they'll work as a unit and I think Iran England and Wales are just better than them third place I put Iran yep Iran like I really don't know about them as a unit, they are quite solid. They're quite solid team. They got that, uh, of course, that player from Portugal up top called uh, Tam Tammy, I think his name is, uh, the striker. But he, he's he's done decent. Now, the qu who will qualify? Second place, I of course put Wales. Yeah, Wales. They have some solid players. They have Neka Williams. They have Bale. They have uh, who else? They have some overall just solid players. Also, uh, Dan James, another player. But there are some solid players. Uh, like, there are solid players, but they sh they should be able to get out of the group. It it's gonna be a hard it's gonna be a hard fight to get out of the group with Wales, Iran, and USA. You just don't know. Even with England, they could get knocked out. Like, it's re it's really tough to decide. I have went with. Wales to go sec uh, second, so that means England will finish first. We have a high, yeah, we have a quite a high chance winning the competition, but we'll probably get knocked out like s s by someone stupid. Group C now, and personally, group of death. This might, this, this might be an outtake, and I, I would respect that. But Argentina, you expect Argentina to go out. Uh, like finish first, but no, I have not put them in first. Let's start with fourth place. I put the Saudi Arabia. Like surely Saudi Arabia will get knocked out. They don't have any great players, but like they they will be easily get knocked out. And then it's down to Mexico, Poland, and Argentina. However, I put third place. Poland, yes, Poland. I might be wrong here, but I have a feeling. 
I, I just have a feeling they'll struggle. Hopefully not, because I do like Poland and Lewandowski might carry them. We don't know. He, he, might, he might turn one. He might do wonders for them. However, that means second place. I put Mexico. No, I didn't. I put Argentina. Yes, Argentina. Argentina second. And that means Mexico first. I think it's going to be a tough group. It's going to be really a uh, tough group. And it could go uh, either way. But surely, of course, Saudi Arabia, bottom of the group. But it's going to be a really good, feisty group. And I can't wait to watch it. Group D now and fourth place at Tunisia. Tunisia. I remember playing them in um, England, playing them uh, in the last World Cup. We, we struggled against them, but surely they... Like, the other teams are just too good. So, I put, yeah, Tunisia in bottom place. Third place, I put France. Like, France. Yep, you heard correctly, France. I just have a feeling they'll get knocked out. I, I think they won it last year. Can they break that curse? Uh, after you win the World Cup, you get knocked out the foreign World Cup. Will they break it? Happen to Spain, happen to Germany. Will it happen again? I don't know. I really don't know. However, I'm going to still put uh, put France third. They have quite a weak midfield. They have no Angola Kante, no Pogba, so they're lacking in those parts. Second place, that means I put the Aussies in Australia. Um, they're a solid team that, like, they do lack. They do lack in some positions, but they got Matty Ryan and go. Hopefully, he can clutch up. Um... But, yeah, I, I, and that means first place, I put Denmark. Denmark will be the dark horses of the competition, I personally think. They did really good in the uh, Euros, like, got to the semis. Um, they had some really good players. They have some really good players. Of course, Schmeichel and Go. Um, they have some other great players. Hoiberg is another one. That I think they'll finish first. Um, yeah, is I think... Denmark should be able to qualify. Halfway now, and it's Group E. And I'm going to put bottom Costa Rica. Surely Costa Rica will finish bottom of the table. Uh, there's, they have some solid players, but really it's Kalo Navas. If Kalo Navas pulls some wonders, fair play to him. But he's getting old. He's not in his prime. He plays for PSG right now. Doesn't get any played time. So, yeah, it's, I, I'm pretty sure... They'll finish for Third place, I put Japan. Surely Japan will finish third. Uh, this is a still another good group. It's a really good group. Um, however, will like Minamino, uh, of course, ex-Liverpool uh, player, he plays for Monaco now. Will he do wonders? We don't know. Ho hopefully so. Uh, I would love to see him do uh, good again. But yeah, I found that I put I put uh, Japan in third. Japan is not as good as um, Spain and Germany, so I'll, I'll put that there. Second place, I put Spain. Yes, Spain, and they do not have no David de Gea and go. Uh, they're no Tiago. Also, like I don't know what they're thinking. No Tiago, no Diego. Like, what are you on? Uh, so that's why um, I put that. Uh, that's why I basically put them in second. Germany, Germany. They do lack in like the strike position, but of course they're in first. They do lack in the strike position, um, but they still have Havertz and Werner. Maybe they can do something, but that's probably the weakest position. But yeah, hundred percent. I've went with uh, Germany because they have some solid players: Kimmich, Gretzka, Neuer. Uh, Sane and Gnabry like they have some solid players um, so they should be able to win the group and just just win over Spain to put them in first position group F now and it's another solid group however in fourth place I put Monaco they can do well they can do well they've got Hakimi they got some other solid players but when you look at the other teams, they'll struggle, I think. So, yeah, I would, personally, I would go with Monaco. Third place, I'll put Canada. Yep, Canada. I think that they'll struggle. They'll struggle a bit against 
Croatia and Belgium. Um, it's won their first World Cups. Um, of course, Afon they have some solid players like Jonathan David and, uh, of course, Afonso Davies. So, I would love them. I would like to see them do well. However, Percy, I think they'll finish third. Second place, I put Croatia. It is quite aging team Croatia with Luka Modric getting older, Rakitic getting older. They'll start. They'll start to struggle, and they won't be able to make it make it far into this competition because I just don't think they'll have the stamina for it. So yeah, I put Croatia second. That means Belgium first. Um, they have some solid players. They need to win it now. I, I swear down. Bel if Belgium have a chance, they need to win it now because their players are aging. Uh, like De Bruyne, he's getting older. Like Courtois, he's getting older. A lot of their players are getting older, so surely they need to win it. Also, Eden Hazard, Lukaku, a lot of players are just too old, and they're getting it. They're losing their prime. They're losing their prime. De Bruyne should always be great. However, the team around him will struggle and they'll feel it group g now and in fourth place i'm going to put cameroon they have some solid players of course no joe matic they ain't playing him i don't really know most of the players but i do know some i know that napoli center mid i can't remember his name but yeah they have some solid players but they'll finish dead last third place i put switzerland will shakiri do wonders probably not they have some great players. They have Somengo. They have a lot of solid players. Now that striker and Bolo, I think his name is. I uh, I might be wrong. Um, from uh, Mitch and Gladbach. Um, so they have some solid players. However, they'll str I think they'll struggle. I think Serbia and uh, Brazil are just bit too bit too better. Second place, surely. You put uh, Serbia. Serbia, solid team. I do like Serbia. They have the likes of Mitrovic, Valavovic. Uh, they have, who else? They have some other Maleficic Savic. Yes, I, I, I can't pronounce his name. but And they have, of course, Kostic. Um, they have some solid players. And hopefully they'll do well. I would like to see them do well. However... They qualify. They will be able to qualify. So that that you'll take that if you are a Serbia fan. Um, but yeah, you you should be able to. But you don't know. Maybe Switzerland will just uh, be better than you. But I would like to see Serbia be through. Now, first place. That means Brazil. Brazil, like they are ridiculous. They are so good. Like Brazil. As a, like they have some ridiculous players, and I really do hope them to do well. Of course, no Firmino in their side, but then you have Neymar, then you have Vin Vinny, then you have uh, Blay, Gabi Zezus, Martinelli. Like, ha like you can't compete. Group H now, and I put fourth place Ghana. Ghana will struggle a bit, but they still have they have some good players. Um, they're that Thomas Party. And some other great players, but yeah, they should. Surely they'll be. They'll probably finish uh, fourth place. Third place now, South Korea. Son will carry hopefully, but they won't be able to qualify. They did well. Uh, they did well to knock out Germany last World Cup, uh, which was actually really good. Fair play to them. But yeah, like South Korea, human Son. He, I think he'll do wonders. Second place, I put Uruguay. Of course, they have some solid players. They have the likes of Darwin Nunes, the likes of uh, Golden. I still don't know if he play, if he actually plays. They have also Valverde, Cavani. They have, uh, who else? They have some Suarez, of course. How could I forget him? They have some solid players. So, they'll finish second, just behind first place in Portugal. Ronaldo, hopefully, will do well. They have no Diego Jota, he's injured. They like however they still have a decent quads. They have uh Blake Bat Leno probably in go. I am not quite sure. They might even play that star for from Wolves. Um but yeah, I'm I'm happy I'm happy with those group stages. 
And that's the end of the video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. The other, my knockout stages will be out later on when the when it of course progresses. My bold statement: I think Germany will win the World Cup. I might be wrong. I might be correct. We'll find out. Anyway, peace out.